Uh, you'll see that in most trauma cases, um, you'll have situations like this where you'll be missing part, parts of the skull. You know, from the first day that they come into the lab, they're all excited. Uh, we give them a, um, a, fig, uh, a model and uh, some clay, and we teach them how to form different parts. We start with the eyes, move to the nose, and we teach them symmetry, as well as how um, when, whenever you're rebuilding something, you have to be very conscious of, uh, of people's features and natural features um, so that you make them look like who they are. Um, the worst thing you can do is, is make them look like someone who they are not. This restorative art demonstration is a part of one of the courses in SUNY Canton's Funeral Administration Services Program. It used to be a two-year program that was recently expanded. To become a licensed funeral director or embalmer, you must pass a national board exam, currently requiring an associate's degree. This bachelor's program includes more studies in business, the hard sciences, psychology, plus hands-on experience. We are one of only four institutions in the United States that have a four-year program. And um, I think that you're going to see that the trend is going to be moving away from um, two-year institutions, uh, specifically because I, um, I think these institutions teach to the test, and it doesn't prepare the funeral director for being professional in the field. Some might call this an unusual major to pursue, even more so to be drawn to at the young age many people are starting college. You would not be thinking about something as uh, serious and sad and some people would say morbid, but it's op actually it's an opportunity where you serve people in a difficult time and you're helping them get through this journey of loss, of acceptance, and honoring somebody. He says a few prospective students have unfortunately missed that part in the job description. And I've asked students that come to see me, why do you want to be a funeral director? And I had one young lady who, uh, she was a student here, and that was the first thing she said. She said, oh, I think it's very lucrative. I said, how's that? Well, she said, you have a nice house you live in upstairs over the funeral. Many of us live upstairs over our funeral home, drive a nice car. And I said, well, that's really not what it's really all about. And I proceeded to explain to her about how when you're a funeral director, you not only wear the hat of a funeral director, caregiver of the dead, you also wear the hat of caring for those families that have lost a loved one. Death is like the toughest thing a family can go through, and to be able to help them, a family, go through it and make it a little bit easier on them, you know, it's very gratifying knowing that you did that for somebody. Um, my family was a little surprised, but like I said, I, I got in, I was intrigued by it when I was a small kid going to my grandfather's funeral. I was kind of more worried about what the funeral director was doing than everybody else, and I kind of followed him around. So they were surprised um, that I actually wanted to go through with it, but not surprised about the idea. And when I meet people and they ask what I do, they're, you know, they're kind of pretty surprised that I do that, and they really don't want to talk about it kind of catches them off guard. Death's kind of like a taboo subject. Um, most people don't want to think about their death, so why would they want to talk, you know, they don't want to talk about anybody else's death, and it's a sore subject, it's tough. As a funeral director, the job requires you to deal with death on a daily basis, but some things never get easier. The most difficult part of what my profession is is taking care of children, with parents still surviving. and. It's such totally out of the normal things where a, a, a family is expected to bury their parent or their grandparent. Uh, and then it comes to a time when you bury one, your, your peers, your spouse, husband or wife. But it's very, very unusual for a parent to think about burying their child. And it's an extreme, extreme painful time for parents and grandparents to lose a young person. And that's been a difficult part. That's, that's never easy. And after 41 years, I have to say it, it's not any easier now than it was 41 years ago. Maybe that's good that you have that kind of a perception of it, feeling for it. To ensure students truly understand the pros and cons of this career path, they're required to receive real-world experience at funeral homes. Some have worked at O'Leary's Funeral Service in Canton, like Regina Cassidy, who decided to return to school after being out for 31 years. This place right here actually was a restaurant and was redeveloped into a funeral home.
I had lost my dad to a homicide in 1971. And it relates to that in some aspects that that might be why I climbed the ladder to become a funeral director, so I could help people you know, who have lost somebody in that. Because it was really, even though we had a funeral for him and the mass and the burial, there still was no closure. We need nurses, we need doctors, we need lawyers, we need funeral directors. We need people that will go out and give all they can to people who lose somebody. It's partly the professor's job to mold the next modern day funeral director. But it also takes individual initiative and a certain something extra for students to excel beyond what they've learned in the classroom. The type of kids that come in, they come in with a genuine attitude that they want to help somebody. The kids that make it are those ones that connected with their own feelings, are able to identify that grief is a process and they want to help people with that grieving experience. It's hard, <laughs> but what I do is I help them get in touch with their own feelings. You see, because if you can reach down inside and see what your feelings are about death and dying and losing a loved one. And you can reach down and you can feel that and pull that out. You could be a great funeral director.